Hello there fellow nerds, welcome back to the Nerd Room. My name is James and we're doing another brand new, to me anyways, Marvel Legends unboxing for you. So, as you know, the Legend Wave came out way back in February, right? So, I've done a couple of figures, but since I've lived in New Hampshire, the figures haven't really been coming my way. But as of late, I've found a few more, so we're going to continue with the Lizard Wave. I'm really excited about this because it's another, you know, I love doing the Marvel Legends reviews for you. So, today, today's figure, today, we're doing the uh, Spider-Man Noir. He's a uh, Peter Parker, but what they call the Noir Universe, basically, if the Marvel Universe was created in the 1930s. So, Peter Parker is a socialist who... Uh, Gets the Spider-Man powers and uh, he goes up against mob bosses and such. One of the mob bosses is or not Norman Osborn. So I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna take a tour around the box and see if the figure is uh, Spider-Man worthy. Okay, guys. So we have the Spider-Man Noir figure smack right in the box. So again, pretty cool, right? Looks like he's got the uh, Nick Fury body with a trench coat, obviously. But that's all right. You know, do what you can with it. Make a character look way it's supposed to, right? And the Spider-Man mask, looking pretty uh, 1930s. It comes with two guns because he's a little shady, but that's okay. And uh, the part for the lizard figure. On the side, you have the very uh, limited uh, drawing of Spider-Man nowhere, very limited profile. Back, you have a nice figure profile. The text for the figure says, Reluctant hero Spider-Man noir battles bad guys and mob bosses alike in 1930s New York City. On the bottom here, you have the rest of the figures from the Lizard Wave. So far, I've done the Gwenpool and the Spider Punk. And since I've done those months ago, chances are probably some of you guys haven't seen those. So I'll throw links to both those reviews at the end of this video. So, you know, give those a watch, right? On the side, you have the same, uh, same profile drawing. On the top, you have Marvel's Lizard on the top. Spider-Man logo embossed on the top of there. Legends on the top. Spider-Man on the bottom, Spider-Man Noir on a, underneath that. So uh, I'll stop talking about the box. We'll rip this sucker open and uh, take a look around the figure. Should be a lot of fun, right? Okay, guys, so we have Spider-Man Noir out of the package. Looking pretty cool. Looking bl more black suit than the black suit Spider-Man, am I right? Black from head to toe, even the eyes. Anyways, nice trench coat, even though it is a uh, reuse, right? I do like the detail on the mask though. Nice uh, Spider-Man webbing sort of, right? Uh, we got the left arm for the wiz lizard. But we we'll, might worry about him down the line. And like I said, he comes with a couple of revolvers. Uh, do they look 1930s to you guys? Let me know. Is you know, if not, tell Marvel to get their time, their eras right when they're doing these instead of just, you know, Repurposing weapons. Anyways, uh, Spider-Man is a uh, this Spider-Man isn't afraid to use guns, right? Because he's a uh, part detective, part you know, enforcer, vigilante, whatever. Like you know, Batman was in the 1930s. So there it is with his guns. So um, anyways, let's uh check the articulation test, shall we? So uh, Spider-Man's head goes back that far, goes forward that far all the way around and uh, back and forth on the head his so arm goes up that high but goes all the way around rotation at the bicep double joint on the elbow and wrist forward and back and forth uh, diaphragm goes back that far Goes forward that far. Rotation at the waist. His legs go apart that far. And go forward and back that far. And they go apart, yeah, that far. Rotation at the thigh. Double joint on the knee. No rotation at the shin, but he has the ankle pivoting back and forth. And he does not have that butterfly articulation like the rest of the Spider Man figures do, so you can't really do the. Him like in a web swinging pose, even though he is a web swinger, which is a little disappointing. But anyways, uh, so we're gonna try to put him in some uh, McFarlane-esque poses. See how it goes. 
So with the trench coat and uh, the figure, the way it is, you can't really do the McFarlane pose 100%, but it does give a uh, more of a hyper reality to the uh, traditional uh, two gun battle. So that looks decent, I guess. Okay, so here I was trying for the pose from uh, Spider-Man 16. Uh, the first time you see Spider-Man in the book where he's like, expression of look of surprise while he's web slinging. And, uh, you know, the trench coat is kind of interfering and the lack of the traditional Spider-Man articulation doesn't work for it, but, you know, it is what it is, right? Okay, so let's just stick with what we what the strengths are, right? So, uh, you know, two guns, trench coat. So he's going to be jumping through the air, am I right? Like John Woo style. And that looks pretty cool. And here he is next to the other Spider-Man Marvel Legends I have in my collection. And uh, he's a little taller than the other ones. And obviously a lot less blue and red. But, you know, what are you going to do, right? Spider-Man Noir means black. Not bright red and blue or spandex. Okay, so there you guys have it. That's the Spider-Man Noir. Very, I wouldn't say odd because he's, uh, you know, continuity. But... It's going to make an excellent addition to your Spider-Verse collection, your Marvel Legends collection, your What If collection, your Spider-Man Alternate Universe collection, whatever. You name it. And you do know that Spider-Man Noir has been in a couple of video games too. So, you know, he's been around. So, he is a pretty cool looking figure, uh, even if he's kind of reused. But that's how it goes, right? Eventually, they'll make new figures that are just completely remolds from other ones so um that's spider-man noir thank you guys so much for watching this review i really appreciate your support i appreciate you guys watching subscribing um if you just subscribe from the hot wheels or collection review thank you for watching this video and you know this is pretty much you know what my main hobby is collecting marvel legends and marvel figures so anyways uh thank you for watching this video uh if you haven't subscribed please do so you know you're watching the hunt videos you're probably watching these videos so make things easy and you know that way you can find out when i do these right off the bat so thank you so much next video we're going to do we're going to do a uh, prowler from the lizard wave yeah he's uh one of the z level uh spider-man villains so uh, we'll do that one thank you guys again i will never say thank you enough for watching these videos even if it's just one person watching the video i've done my job so Thank you, and we'll see you next time.